science. Hey, hey, look, I'm swimming. Howdy, y'all. Now I'm in the Wild West. Stop messing around. You have to film. Fine. and welcome to Mad Morgan Science Show. Today, we're going to be talking about why things float, what things float, and why rubber ducks are so cool. Doesn't that sound swimming? It's time for Mad Morgan's five fun fast facts. Number one, about 70% of the earth is covered in oceans. Number two, while there are hundreds of thousands of known species of marine life, there might be millions left to discover. Number three, the largest ocean on the earth is called the Pacific. Number four, the sea is home to the world's largest living structure and it's called the Great Barrier Reef. You can even see it from the moon. Number five, the deepest known area of the earth's oceans is called the Marina Trench and it's about 11 kilometers deep. Whew. It's time for the experiment. We're going to be finding out what things float. For this, you will need a selection of objects. I'm going to be using a penny, half a lime, an egg, an apple, an empty crisp packet, and you'll need some water. Don't! Ah! Oh, not again! Sorry. <laughs> First, you need to fill a big bowl with water. Then, you need to drop your objects in one by one to see which ones sink and which ones float. Let's try the penny first. Pennies sink. Next, let's try a lime. It looks like it's sinking. Oh no, wait! Limes float. Next, let's try an egg. Eggs sink. Next, let's try a crisp packet. Crisp packet floats. And last, let's try an apple. Apples float too. Whew, that was splashing. But why does it work? Well, all objects are made of molecules. Some objects have very tightly packed molecules and this makes them dense. Dense objects will sink. Some objects have spread out molecules and this makes them less dense and so they might float. For example, if we have water and oil, oil is less dense than water so it will float. Watch! Don't forget to join me next week and until then, just keep on swimming!